Hello guys, this is Indian Medico and in this video we are going to see about pleural effusion. This is a concise presentation for medical students. What is pleural effusion? It is the accumulation of serous fluid within the pleural space. It can be due to increased hydrostatic pressure or decreased osmotic pressure. The effusion will be transitative in this case. Some of the causes are cardiac, liver or renal failure. Pleural effusion can be caused due to increased microvasculature pressure also. In this case, the effusion will be exudative. It can be due to disease of the pleura or injury in the adjacent lung. What are the causes of pleural effusion? The common causes are pneumonia, TB, pulmonary infarction, malignant disease, cardiac disease, subdiaphragmatic disorders like subphrenic abscess, pancreatitis, etc. The uncommon causes of pleural effusion are hypoproteinemia due to nephrotic syndrome, liver failure or malnutrition, connective tissue diseases like systemic lupus erythematosus and rheumatoid arthritis, postmyocardial infarction syndrome, acute rheumatic fever, make syndrome that is ovarian tumor plus pleural effusion, myxedema, uremia, asbestos related benign pleural effusion. Clinical assessment of a case of pleural effusion. The symptoms of pleural effusion include breathlessness, pain on inspiration and coughing. Pleural rub is an important sign of pleural effusion. What are the investigations that you will do in a case of pleural effusion? Radiological investigations. PA chest film shows curved shadow at the lung base, blunting the costophrenic angle and ascending towards the axilla. At least 200 ml of fluid is required for this sign to be present. Ultrasound is more accurate. If clear hypoechoic sounds are heard, it is transudate, whereas moving floating densities include exudate. CT scan is used to detect malignancy. Another investigation is pleural aspiration and biopsy. The color and texture of the pleural fluid can indicate emphema or chylothorax. If blood is there, it can indicate pulmonary infarction or malignancy. Biochemical analysis of the pleural aspirate should be done. Gram stain should be done. Cytological examination, pH analysis should be done. USG or CT guided pleural biopsy can be done. Video assisted thoracoscopy can also be done. Now, this is a very comprehensive table. This gives the cause of pleural effusion and appearance of fluid in that case and type of fluid and predominant cells in fluid. For example, in a case of TB, the fluid will be serous, amber colored, it will be exudative, and lymphocytes will predominate. In a case of malignant disease, the fluid will be serous and blood stain. The type of fluid will be exudate. The predominant cells will be serocell cells, lymphocytes and malignant cells. In a case of cardiac failure, the fluid will be serous, straw colored. The fluid will be transudate and few serocell cells will be seen. In a case of pulmonary infarction, the fluid will be serous or blood stain. The fluid will be exudate and RBCs and eosinophils predominate. In a case of rheumatoid disease, the fluid will be serous and turbid, it will be exudate and lymphocytes predominate. In a case of SLE, the fluid will be serous, exudate and lymphocytes and serous cells predominate. In a case of acute pancreatitis, the fluid will be serous or blood stain, exudate. In a case of obstruction of thoracic duct, the fluid will be milky. The type of fluid is a special type called chyme. Light's criteria is basically used to differentiate exudate from transudate. Exudate if one or more of the following is satisfied. Pleural fluid protein is to serum protein ratio should be greater than 0.5. Pleural fluid LDH is to serum LDH ratio should be greater than 0.6. Pleural fluid LDH should be greater than two thirds of the upper limit of nor normal serum LDH. If one or more of the these are satisfied, then you can call it as an exudate. How do you manage a case of pleural effusion? Therapeutic aspiration. Remember that not more than 1.5 liter should be aspirated at a time. Never drain the aspirate to dryness before establishing diagnosis and treatment of the underlying cause. Thank you.